Hey guys, welcome back to PIB Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, happy Father's Day to my dad, to my husband, and to every father and father figure out there. I am so grateful for my dad, the most supportive dad you will ever meet. Never missed a game, never missed a recital, never missed anything. And that's a lot with three very active kids. He is so good and tender to my special needs little sister. She's not slept through the night in 21 years. He gets up with her every night and goes into her room and calms her down. I complain after a few months of babies not sleeping and he is just so patient and good with her. I only wish we lived in the same country and not so far away, but happy Father's Day. This was the winner of a Father's Day poll. So I posted a Father's Day poll of my dad's favorite movies uh, a few years ago, right when I started the channel. And I'm pretty proud that I have watched all of them since except one, Romancing the Stone, which came second in this poll this year by only 2%. So I'm gonna watch that too, don't you worry. But from that first poll, I think Braveheart, The Patriot, um, Romancing the Stone, Lethal Weapon, watch that dances with wolves watch that the hunt for red october watch that clear and present danger or was it patriot games anyways i watched both of them so i'm learning that my dad has a wonderful movie taste i've loved all of those oh the rock i think that was on there watch that oh the great escape check watch that so this year again con air one and in second place only two percent was romancing the stone which i'm gonna watch for him and for me, let's be honest. I heard it's her I, I heard I'm gonna love it. So, okay, Con Air tonight. Uh Nicolas Cage. I think it's a Western or action. Or Western action. Action Western. I don't know, but I do know that um whenever I have told people in the last week that I'm gonna watch Con Air, they go, like, oh yeah, love that one. So I think it's like uh one of those 90s action nostalgic movies. Is it a West? Anyways, oh, maybe it's about airplanes, con air, or con men, we shall see. Okay, let's watch this. If you're new here, it helps so much if you just hit that subscribe button. I promise you don't get annoying emails. It just helps that ever eluding algorithm, you know? And then if you like this movie, give this a big thumbs up or just give it a thumbs up if you love your dad, okay? All right, guys, let's do this. served your country well, and you've displayed the ability to fight on to the Ranger objective and complete its mission. I thank you. America okay. thanks you. Okay. I guess it's going with and the I air. Oh, right John Cusack is in this. Rangers, lead the way. Okay, so yes, the air theme. Not a Western, not a con movie. I don't think. If I had to She's so cute. I need you. Get you. What? Sweetie. Oh, shh, can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? You know I'm in Miss Alabama. Let me show daddy very proud. Oh, Nick Cage Southern. Hey, how about joining me and the boys for a call one, huh, darling? No, oh, thanks. You know this gentleman, honey? He's a red yellow. Regular hound dog. <laughs> go home, hound dog. You're drunk. Why don't you go buy me and my buddies around? In what world? Because pussies like you be lost Vietnam, I'll tell you that. Oh. You know, for a second there, you were with that guy again. Well, I was hoping maybe the army would make that guy grow up. Yes. This song. How do I live without you? This is every school dance. Slow dancing. <laughs> More like this. <laughs> what is their freaking problem? Pamela, go home. Just get in the car. Don't. Cameron. <gasps> Are they kidding? Son 
just happened? Did he get shot? God, he's dead. Cameron, this guy's dead. Did... I will not plead guilty. You could get 10 years. I'm so confused. Admit to it. You get four. Did he punch him and kill him? Or did... It looked like someone shot him. You have pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the first degree. Your military skills, you are a deadly weapon. It is the order of this court that you be remanded to a federal penitentiary where you shall remain incarcerated for a term not less than seven to ten years. What? Holy, this is not what I was expecting. I am, however, torn apart when I think that I won't be there to see our child come into the world. I got your package. Those pink coconut things have made me quite popular. Met a guy just the other day, baby -o. I've never had one of those. I watch her grow in the pictures you send. It's funny, but here I am in maybe the worst place on earth, and yet somehow I feel like the luckiest man alive. Wait a sec. Can they not come visit him? Dang. Dang. Today was my first day at first grade. First grade! I don't want to go back tomorrow. This boy, Scotty Dalton, has black teeth and calls me names. Hopefully this finds you still going to the first grade. School is very important. Wait. Your mom is right. Now don't you worry about He's little Scotty Dalton. He's gotta get out soon, right? Sometimes you meet people like that, but don't let them get you down. Are you ever coming home? Of course I'm coming home. In just a little while longer and all the things we miss doing together, you can be sure we'll do. This boy's coming home to his lady. Coming home forever. I just hope I'm not a disappointment to Casey. He's coming home. My birthday is July 14th. We're going to see my daddy for the first time ever on July 14th. Cameron Pope, eligible to be paroled. Might be a long time before I see something like that with my name on it. Like at this new prison you're going to, who's gonna watch your back? God's got my back. Oh. Ah, I'm going home, son. Bye. Good night. <laughs> that hair. U.S. Marshal Service annually flies 155,000 prisoners around the country. Today's flight is a special one. We're populating Alabama's Felton Penitentiary. This place was designed to warehouse the worst of the worst. You know, you're still under full restraints to your process and release from your original prison, understand? Yes, ma'am. As long as I make it home on time, it makes no never mind. It's my daughter's birthday. Well, congratulations. No way was she going to meet her daddy in a prison visitor room surrounded by homemade cookies and love stop murderers. I'm confused. He's not the worst worst of the worst. He's not dangerous lifer. Duncan, this is Vince Larkin. He's overseeing the transfer. Duncan Malloy, DEA. Nice to meet you. I'm sure we're gonna have a good time. Hmm. He seems nice. You got your gun? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, gun. No one carries on this flight. I got a small arsenal in the belly of the plane, a pistol in the cockpit lockbox. Other than that, we keep the plane like a prison. Oh, they're putting him on the plane undercover. Something's gonna go wrong. AKA Billy Bedlam. Mass murderer. Nathan Jones, AKA Diamond Dog. Diamond Dog? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Kidnapping, robbery, murder, extortion. His name, Cyrus Grissom, AKA Cyrus the Virus, earned two degrees, including his Juris Doctor. He also killed 11 fellow inmates and escaped twice. Uh, who is that? Why do I know him? You are one skinny Negro. Easy, man. Open up. Hey. <laughs> Get out of my face. All right, all right. Is that Dave Chappelle? Oh, and then there's this guy who... Cameron Poe, a parolee hitching a ride home. All he did was punch a guy who pulled a knife on him. Mark is one of the best we got. Still like to crush his larynx with my boot. I think you feel the same about you, sir. Sweet bird of freedom. What's up, man? Oh, shit, what's up? I thought you were someone else. Timbo Parker, armed robber, arsonist, dope fiend. Well, I'm a hell of a nice guy. Just got caught. Oh, shucks. You guys are late for the party. <sighs> Don't like that. What's up, Cochise? Ow. Is that Dave Chappelle? What you looking at, punk? Nothing, I was just admiring your cage. Fits you pretty good. We have rules on this aircraft, and they're gonna be enforced. It's a lot like kindergarten. Crap's gonna go down, isn't it? Fuck you, pig. Gag and bag this Nazi muffin. <clears throat> it's 
See, this kind of thing puts me in a foul mood. These rules will be enforced. Trouble if any of you so much as pass this gas in my direction, your testicles will become my personal property. Oh, wow. Usted es el famoso criminal, amigo. Yo, 23, si te conozco. Tres cargos de violación. Ew. That's... Anyway, I despise rape. This... Cabal. What's the in-flight movie today? Well, I think you'll like it, Cyrus. It's called I'll Never Make Love to a Woman on the Beach Again. Oh, why is he so... evil? Oh... No! Please no. Please no. What's happening? Hey Chief, if you come through this all right, hope you don't hold a grudge. What the fuck are you doing? Fire. Oh, shit. oh shoot. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. Holy frick. Disturbance, but everything's under control. Say it. Without me, you got nobody to fly the plane. I never think that far ahead. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I have the only gun on board. Welcome to Con Air. I get it now. I get it. Just a little ruckus and the pilot hit the alarm. Just a little ruckus? Pilot just checked in. Everything's fine. Damn, this pig is heavy. We let you out. You gonna play nice, Billy? I got a spot on my arm just for you. I can't allow that. This ain't happening. Relax, he's right. Not here, not now. Do you fly, Johnny? No, because if your dick jumps out of your pants, you jump out of this plane. What are the numbers in Carson City? How many on, how many off? Six off and ten on. Well, I know three of these brothers. They're they right back there. Now, the other three are Benson, Carls, and Popovich. Carson City. The law is down there. You lost your mind? According to my last psych evaluation. Yes. Now, if you do exactly what we tell you, the rest of our lives will be a vacation. I'm talking sandy beaches, yeah. umbrella drinks. Everybody freeze! Yeah, that's who the fuck I am. You know, the next time you choose a human shield, you're better off not picking a two-bit Negro crackhead. Just stop right before somebody gets killed. Back! All right, cowboy, I'm back. Stay back! Gosh! That did not go well. What's your name, Convict? My name? Yeah. Oh. Nice work, bro. Truly nice work. Not only did you not save this dude's life, you done made best friends with Cyrus the damn virus. There's this dead fella right here happens to be Benson. And this honker, he's dragging and it's Popovich. I don't know how to tell you this, Cyrus, but we are three white guys short. And if I don't get my shot in the next couple of hours, hey, somebody gonna uncle. be sending flowers to my mother. <gasps> the guys they're expecting are white. Hey, come on, man. I'll tell you what, sit down. One of my associates bring you a phone book. You call the affirmative action. This guy is such... I'm gone, man. I'm dead in two hours. A nasty. I'll get off. I'll scream to high heaven. This plane won't leave Carson City. We need another white boy to volunteer. Pilot's white. Carson City says we got a hell of a sandstorm down there. I feel like the pilot's got to have a code word or something. It's Tenet Cyrus Grissom. It's all soft. Come on, man, move your head up. I want to stay on. I changed my mind. I got 15 years left. Well, a second ago, you couldn't wait to get off this plane. Feel free to my gas. Get him up. Get the cuffs off. What the hell are you doing? Stay in. They're gagging everybody for the bus ride to the pan. It'll be hours before the feds discover what happened. By then, you'll be dead. Okay. So will she. Think of your little girl. You keep acting like you're still a ranger. We're all going to be in trouble. You're not that guy anymore. You're a convict. You trailer trash. Hey, my mama lives in a trailer. Now put those on. I just saved your life. Okay, soldier boy, you got a plan. Okay, maybe 
Maybe. Maybe we can use something as a needle for him. This looks like the drawing of a plane. Which cell is that? The virus. Frick. Okay, this is it. I cannot believe this. They took the plane. You hear that, boys? We caught the plane, man. Oh, boy. In Spanish, from Bogota, Colombia. Looks like it's from a law firm. The employer. <gasps> and this guy is a pilot. What's up, man? So you swamp thing? That's right. Flying a plane? That's right. Well, this sandstorm is making things even easier for them. Oh, this is the tracker. Creepy. The eyes are cut out of their heads. Why? Last supper. One more! Oh, Garland Green! Who's that? Oh my. What's his rap sheet? That skinny little man butchers 30 something people up and down the eastern seaboard. See the way he kill those people? Makes the Manson family look like the Butcher's family. That car. Car. Meet cars. Meet cars. Let's just. He knows he's got plans. Why don't we go stop the plane? City, stay here. Don't touch anything. Yes, let's do that. Just leave it alone. Touch him to touch anything. That in a prison cell. Keep it up. No. Come on. Come on. Code red, code red, Starkey. Those guards ain't guards. They're cons. We're gonna be too late. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. Hey! Back on the beach, the beach! Grim ball! Yeah. Yeah. This is bad news. Just step right on board and find yourself a seat. Where is the transponder? <gasps> Where indeed? <laughs> oh, they're so evil. It's so scary. <sighs> We're following the transponder. We know exactly where they're heading. They killed him. They got the plane. What kind of a Keystone Cops operation are you guys running? No one carries on these flights! He brought a gun on board and he got himself killed. And in doing so, he compromised the safety of my men. They let themselves get taken over by a bunch of thugs! Okay, they must have listened to the tape. This is no way to treat a national treasure. Let him out. Love your work. Oh my gosh, you know it's bad when they're scared of him. That's Steve Buscemi. I know what the plan is. I got just as much riding on this as you. Cyrus Grissom, do you copy? Oh. Yes, I copy. Identify yourself. It's United States Marshal Vince Larkin, Duncan Malloy, the DEA. Oh, Agent Malloy. When I get through with you, you'll be begging him for the electric chair. Here are the rules. First, I ask a question, then you ask a question. In Carson City, your bulls were on to us. How? One of the guards. One of the guards faked a heart attack, and we had to remove his restraints. Where are you going with my plane, Cyrus? We're going to Disneyland. That would be very bad. Lerner Airfield posts our rendezvous, so now you know. I'm excited. Oh, oh, don't break my heart right now. There's been a slight problem on your husband's flight. Your presence is requested. I have a jet standing by. Oh, can you imagine her heart drop right there? I was just wondering what a black militant uh, was doing taking orders from a white boy on a power trip. Eyes can play house until we get to where we're going. And then the day of the dog begins. Okay, we really need to help his friend. Fact one, we got a plane up there filled with killers, rapists, and thieves, and we got this guy Cameron Poe. In on an involuntary manslaughter beef, non-gang affiliated. He's a parolee hitching a ride home. Fact two, Poe has a chance to get off the plane. Doesn't do it. Fact three, our guard Falzon said a convict named Cameron Poe planted Sims tape recorder on him. You do the math on this, 
and we got an ally on that plane. Yeah, he's on your side. The issue here is how the plane is brought down. Shoot it down. I am authorized to bring Agent Sims killers to justice using, and I quote, all necessary means. That does not include shooting down my plane. This is a drastic situation. Who are you to decide the value of a man's life? There are innocent people up there. About time. Holy About crap. About time for what? Attack choppers, we're going after them. Jim, don't do this! This man is in a rational state of mind! He's right. Oh. Oh, boy. Right, we drag him, baby. The landing gear ain't all the way up. Check out the gear. Tell what I know about landing gear. Cyrus wants you to check out the landing gear. So that's what happened to Pinball! Cut him loose! He's slowing us down! Oh my gosh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Kill Billy! Gotcha! Hurry up, man. Oh crap. Okay, someone said don't take this too seriously. Just enjoy the ride, but it is very stressful. Oh. How come you don't take this seriously? Oh boy. Every time I get a wax, I get 10 feet from the car wash and then. Car wash? <laughs> Okay, he wrote, U.S. Marshal. You were in the queue, right? You say you had 15 years, but then that would put you on North Block. Funny thing, I was on North Block. I don't know you. You know what? What do you think that means? You see, there were 160 cats on North Block, and I didn't want to know 159 of them. I don't think he would have had actual time to think about that. He's a font of misplaced rage. Mother held him too much or not enough. Now he's so angry. Moments of levity actually cause him pain. Happiness for that gentleman hurts. What's wrong with him? <laughs> you could just tell me exactly what's going on here. We're doing everything we can to get the plane down. Actually, that's why I wanted to talk to you. That's Christina from Parenthood. That's who it is. It seems that your husband, Cameron, had an opportunity to get off the plane and he didn't do it. And I was hoping you could maybe help me figure out. That would make two of us. I don't know. I mean, look, he's got this little, this little girl to come home to. Has to be a pretty strong reason to keep me on that plane. Well, knowing Cameron, I'm sure there is a good reason. To protect people. We got a problem here with a corpse. Yeah, it fell out of the sky. And what's this got to do with me? It's got your name written all over it. They're turning around. They're coming. Can you get me a chief? Fevers. Please. Turn around. Plane's headed to Lerner Airfield. It's a small strip about 100 miles from here. Oh, Oh, this guy's bugging me. Body fell from the sky. Had a note on it. Vince, please, stop. We're right on his tail. Just listen to me. You're chasing uh, the Shut up. Oh, I hate him. I gotta get to Lerner Airfield. I've got about 50 minutes. Got a fast car. You can drive it. Send whatever you got. Sheriff, state trooper, national guard. Hold on one minute. Yes, take his car. Yeah. Put the bunny back in the box. You were playing us all along. You a free man. I said, put the bunny back in the box. They should, like, give him a hair tie. I think that would be better. <laughs> oh, they have to fight kneeling down? Oh, crap. This guy's... What's his name? Billy the Butcher? Did I just make that up? Oh. That can't be good. Oh boy. Why couldn't you put the bunny back in the box? Oh. Abort, abort, abort. Who was right? We need to get to Lerner Airfield now! You think? Oh! Two went down. One came up. One of my fault. Well, you don't have to tell me. Most murders are crimes of necessity rather than desire, but the great ones, Dahmer, Gacy, Bundy, they did it because it excited them. Don't you? They were insane. What if I told you insane was working 50 hours a week in some office for 50 years, ending up in some retirement village, hoping to die before suffering the indignity of trying to make it to the toilet on time? One girl, I drove through three states wearing her head as a hat. Is his friend okay? He looked not okay. 
My heart is racing. Oh, I don't want him to get killed. Who did this? Holy crap. Okay, now what do they do? Thank you for choosing Conair. Where's the plane, Francisco? I don't know. Have patience. Let's go. We're getting oh, off. I can. Yes, you can. Come on. He's too far along. He could go into shock. Go on, man. I'm not leaving without you. All right, here's how it's going to play. We're going to get you that needle. Whatever you say, man, just do what you got to do. We can't let him out. We cannot let him out. Oh, Frick. We're having trouble reaching him, sir. He's off saving the rainforester, recycling his sandals. Excuse me? What is that guy's... Oh! What's that? We got company! How long we got till they get here, Nick? 10, 12 minutes. Who are they? <laughs> you can take Sandino and leave the rest to rot for all our care. You fire that weapon, 20 pissed off prisoners are gonna hear it. Comprende? Essay? They did come. That's the jet. You're Cameron Poe. That's right. Unlock it. I got your message. Where are the troops? They'll be here. They'll be here. 10 to 12 minutes. You're a free man, Paul. What are you doing? I Tell can't him. trade a friend's life for my own lock, and that's all. You got a friend on board. See, I knew I was right about you. I read your file. You're not such a bad guy, just always in the wrong place at the wrong time. I spoke to your wife. In person? In person. And your little girl. If this thing goes bad, lock, and I'm afraid my daughter won't. Understand. If you talk to my wife again, you tell her I love her. He's my hummingbird. Oh, this cannot happen. I couldn't leave a fallen man behind. He'll do that for me, won't you, Larkin? What are you gonna do for me? What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save the fucking day. Oh crap. They're gonna fly this plane? Bob, want to come over for dinner? Are you sick? Why do you ask? You look sick. I am sick. You take medicine? There is no medicine for what I have. Want to sing? Sing? Do you know he's got the whole world in his hands? Yes, I do. Up the whole world <sighs> in his hands. Mom. You hurt her. He's got the whole world in, in his hands. hands. He's got, got the whole wide world. You cannot hurt her. This is like prison break. The plane is on the ground, but it won't be for long. We're westbound near the lunar cutoff. That keeps happening to him. Uh-oh. Oh, they're gonna kill him so hard. Looks like you missed your connection. Please, Sai. Anara. Oh, I see what he did there. Me. I'm not gonna kill you, old timer. Listen, I need a syringe. Drugs will end you, son. Is there a first aid kit around here? 
might be one in the fire truck over on the boneyard. All right, thanks. You just stay here and don't panic. It's easy for you to say. You don't gotta take a piss. <laughs> Initially, we take out the first car, hitting a trap, an airtight cage filled with lots and lots of dead people. My gosh, what is wrong with people? No, no, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do that in this movie. They're not gonna do that. Oh gosh. Okay, this is horrifying. The good guys gotta win, guys. What are you gonna do? Is he for real? <laughs> yes. Off me! I'm gonna bust your ass. Give him up, man. Is he freaking for real? They're in the middle of a gunfight, and that's what you're gonna go do? Hurry, 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 hurry. Don't drink women like that. <gasps> Just take it and let's go. Get ready to move. Did he do something to that little girl? I'm not gonna say it, but that's that's a little bit of karma. <gasps> She's okay. He find irony. Bunch of idiots dancing on a plane to a song made famous by a band that died in a plane crash. <laughs> oh no. alerted the authorities at Carson City. Could this all be coincidence? Then someone went and tied a rope to our plane. What is going on? We have a traitor in our midst. I don't know, but at the count of three, I will find out who is on my team and who is not. Wait, it was me. Don't listen to him, man. The, the insulin is made him crazy. He's pretty clever, huh, bitch? Clever. I'm going to see my daddy for the first time ever on July 14th. Make a move and the bunny gets it. <sighs> I got a bad feeling, son. You know, like maybe I'm not supposed to make it. Oh, this... There ain't no God. Oh. You don't exist. Hey, where you going? I'm going to show you God does exist. Hey, little big boy! He is going... Switch the missile! Roger that, dude. What? How is this legal? Do we not have someone higher up? Oh! Land this thing! I'm the new captain. Put this thing down. Don't fire. Who is this? Identify yourself! Cameron Bow. Oh, crap. We're not over civilian population. Now the time, sir. Don't you dare, you psychopath. Don't do hold it. Fire. Sir? I said hold fire. Thank you. Well, evil Las Vegas. All the runways are cleared. We're dropping too fast. Strip's where I'm going to land. Only the word is crash. No, no, no. The he didn't touch her, right? Let's go to the airport. You can make it. This is not end well. Stay with me. 
Oh crap, the door opened. Break! Break! The last thing that Casey Poe ever gets to smell will be my stinking breath. Oh boy. Oh. Nice touch. Oh, frick. <gasps> we gotta get the. We gotta get Cyrus. Ah! Thank you. you. Take care, Sam Bishop. Next time, take the bus. <gasps> guys, the bad guys. Oh, crap. Some more helicopters or something? This is just when you thought it was over. He's got the high ground. That felt good a little bit. Amount of damage happening. Okay, he's gonna be okay. How is he alive still? Oh. Never mind. Okay, what about Steve Buscemi? I'm really worried about him on the loose. An open body shop in Fresno if it's insured. Oh, this is gonna be such a reunion. <sighs> oh, I'm a her. I meant to get a haircut. <laughs> I got a present for you, Casey. I got a picture. A picture of you. I got a picture of you too. <laughs> How do I live? New shooter coming out. New shooter. Does the new shooter feel lucky? Yes. Yes, he does. No! Cannot be out. Okay, I gotta look this up right this second. <laughs> Nicholas Cage, bad hair, <laughs> con air. Okay, I just <laughs> I have to get this out of the way first because I just read a lot of online theories about Garland Green, Steve Buscemi in that last scene, and apparently in the script or in the book based on this. Larkin comes and gets him at the table and he says, you're coming with me. And Garland's just like, sure, why not? Like very, like he doesn't, like very nonchalant, which I would have preferred that ending. Um, others are saying, no, we see by him not killing the girl that he's been reformed. I still don't want a serial killer out in Vegas long-term, okay? So, in my mind, he gets caught again. Someone said that it was weird in their theater when they saw this, like people were like cheering at the end, that he was like free and um, were like laughing and that's just, I don't know. Um, he said he wore someone's skin as a hat, so nope, that's no for me, dog. Okay, now back to the movie. Holy cow, Nicolas Cage and that Southern accent. Was that necessary? Like that was thick and I, get it like he was just like this country guy but I don't know 
it was distracting at the beginning, but then it like grew on me and, and it was fine. But we got that reuniting. I was so scared that he was gonna sacrifice himself in some way and that his daughter was never going to meet her dad. And it's funny because I told you about that comment that said, you know, don't take this too serious, just let it ride. And looking back, like, okay, yes, it's just a crazy, ridiculous story, but they put enough like real stuff in there about rapists and pedophiles and killers and mass murders that you can't just not feel things. And oh man, Nicolas Cage. I'm about to save the day, he says. I'm gonna go save the day. John Cusack, oh, I figured out who the horrible Cyrus guy was too. He was the horrible guy in, in the line of fire. Oh, he's very good at being horrible. That was like, what did it remind you? It was like Prison Break, the first few seasons, which were so good and so addicting, meets Air Force One, meets Hannibal. What's is that what it was called? Silence of the Lambs. Whew. But it was a wild ride. Action packed. Bad guys you love to hate. Good guys you want to cheer for. From Baby O to the guard to Nicholas freaking Cage. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Thank you so much for watching along with me. And I'll see you next time. Happy Father's Day.